cheese, please. As a part of my job, which is a catering assistant, I start to see the kids were not really eating the vegetables. And because I am a veg advocate, so I was thinking what we can do there to improve that. First of all, we are that younger children's palates are completely different to ours, so they, the way they experience the taste of vegetables and things is very different to us. And so it's a really, really important stage to promote that, that love of healthy eating and vegetables. The whole principle kind of echoed with our ethos around um, being a health promoting setting um, and around our kind of sustainability values and things like that as well. My daughter attends this nursery and they have got different innovation ways of, you know, bringing fruit and veg into it, um, whether by offering a healthy, well-balanced diet um, each lunchtime and daily snacks, as well as introducing it through stories and play. I think it's fantastic. Um, I've been looking at lots of photos of Oscar and um, preparing the vegetables, washing them, chopping them. Uh, kicking them on the, the play cooker and, and serving them. I think the introduction of the vegetables in particular to the environment has had a really positive effect on, I would say, their well-being. It's opened all kinds of discussions, they've had lots of dialogue between each other. In the nursery setting, with it being social and their friends being about, they're more willing to try things that maybe they wouldn't try at home, so I think it's a really good environment for them to be introduced to these maybe new vegetables that they've never had at home or maybe they've been offered it and never eaten it at home, um, but when they see their friends doing it, they're definitely more willing to to give it a go. He's come home um, every day from nursery talking about what they've done. Um, we've all been told to eat the rainbow in the family we've to, and we've been trying to find all the, the different colours and, and the veg. The teachers that they have been doing is working hard with the kids to teach new staff now that they have their raw vegetables that they don't have the opportunity before they have more like a plastic uh, toys so now they are like okay let's open these and get the seeds and you know just plant some seeds and let's see what happens. The kids have been involved in planting at the front of the nursery we've planted different vegetables which again they'll see the full cycle of where it starts from the seeds and then it grows into the vegetables and then hopefully we can use that to have the first snack for them. The most that we put the, the vegetable, the most that they want to try and they want to touch and they want to ask and they have um, questions and questions about that. So it's, it's been amazing. For some families the Peas Please project um, will make a huge difference um, just because it, it encourages the children in the nurseries to, um, to get involved with the, the vegetable preparation and, and it'll spark an interest for them um, and the fact that they also get to take the vegetables home is a, is a huge a huge benefit. At this nursery here um, the parents have a menu each week given from the kitchen staff for parents to try out different meals at home with their children. We set up almost like a little market stall at the front door <coughs> um, where families are able to take something home with them and explore and experiment or cook with that, that vegetable at home as well and take it into the family circle. We are a family centre, so we like to say we don't just work with your children, we work with families as well. Yesterday, my daughter had a red pepper, so we went home and it's about, you know, chopping the, talking about the veg, educating them from, they have it from their home to it's been cooked or chopped up and washed and put on their plate. It's all an education process and I think it's a real benefit that nurseries, including this one, can provide that learning opportunity. The parents have been sending photographs in from what they've been cooking at home with it. So we've had people make pasta with the peppers and we've had people put toppings on the pizzas that they've made. And I think that's quite nice. It's all about that link between home and nursery, which we're all about in the early years. It's very much giving veg a platform for our families. Lots of discussion even at the door around the different vegetables. Well, our parents have commented, you know, they've never, they've never eaten, I've not been able to get them to eat a carrot for, yeah. for as long as I can remember. And these children are going home really excited to take the vegetables home and do something with them at home. I'm really fortunate to have been funded through um, Peace Please and Nourish Scotland um, with the project. 
There's certainly some things that without a doubt we won't go back on. We'll, we'll continue to make sure that we have real veg in our home corner because that's probably a standout moment for all of us. It has been, yeah. I work uh, a lot in universities and it would be really good to see these kinds of initiatives um, brought in at different stages of the, the educational uh, process and, and to see how, how they could benefit you know, secondary school or university students um, and, and other areas like that. Please please, um, it, it's been a big bonus for us, it, it, it's, yeah, it's enriched us all and it's enriched their learning as well. I can see the difference in the kids definitely which made me very happy.